Hey guys, welcome back. So, talking Wi-Fi extenders. Do they work? Neck gears. I got a uh, N300. Picked it up on sale from Amazon. It's 25% off right now. So, um, where I'm sitting right here in the uh, shop on the bench, we usually get maybe a bar. Usually nothing though. So, uh, I just did a little um, paste it off. We're about a hundred feet away from the router. So we're going through three walls and across the deck. So the total distance is about hundred feet, 30 meters or so. So that's pretty far, you know, to, that's a lot to be asking for a, a Wi-Fi if you ask me. So we uh, picked up the extender. I'm going to get it set up here in the garage. I might show a video on how to set it up. It looks pretty straightforward, but uh, most importantly, I'll do a couple speed tests here, and then uh, I'll see if I can hook onto the range extender and if we see an improvement. Hopefully, we do. All right, let's get going. All right, so we got the uh, Wi-Fi range extender hooked up in the garage here. I'll just quickly uh, poke you outside and see how far away we are from the main house. So hopefully you can see that. There's our main house. Um, you know, obviously right through that door we get good reception. That's the kitchen and then it carries on to the living room. And we get good reception there, but as soon as you kind of step into the garage here, somewhere right around this area, you know, she starts to drop off and then over by where the, the bench is over there. Pretty much get nothing. Might, sometimes, some days you can stream a a song off uh, SoundCloud or whatever, but for the most part, she's pretty well hooped. So I went ahead, I uh, already configured the Netgear uh, N300. I've got it plugged in the wall here, just past uh, you know the door, closest to there as we can. It's pretty straightforward, hooking those up. The instructions, like I was gonna do a little video on getting it all set up, but there's really no point. Um, you essentially power it on close to the router and then once this power light turns green, you can um, go ahead and press this uh, WPS button. So that's just like a uh, secured quick connect for the device and your router. So there's a button on your router, typically, you just press WPS on your router, press it here, and they automatically pair. And then once it's paired, you can actually just unplug it from the wall, take it basically anywhere you want where you got 120 volts, and then uh, plug it in. It takes about a minute and a half for it to hook back up. When you first plug it in, it, uh, I'll show you here. It'll just have that amber power. And uh, at first I thought it was busted because it wasn't turning green. So I was ready to jump on Amazon and just lose it. But uh, it took about two minutes originally to get all powered up and configured. So, you know, be patient with it for sure. So once it's all powered up like that, it basically creates another Wi-Fi, um, like Wi-Fi network. And it's whatever your Wi-Fi is, underscore EXT, like extension. And then you just connect to that with your um, existing password. Like you don't have to configure any of this stuff. The, uh, the Wi-Fi extender does everything. So, um, We'll run a test now, like I was saying. I'll stand on the sit at the bench there, and we'll see if we get uh, what we get for a, uh, a download. And then I'll actually hook on to the extender and see if it uh, improves. All right. Okay, guys. So we're back here. I'm just on the bench, just a little bit to the left of uh, where I was before. I just did a speed test. Let's do another one here, just to double check. But this is me hooked on to my regular. Wi-Fi at the house and like I said it's usually hit or miss if I'm connected I'll sometimes I'll f sometimes get 10 megabytes and sometimes I get this just about zero <laughs> you know 590 ms ping oh it failed completely look at that so I've got nothing basically over here so let's go ahead and we'll uh, We'll hook the Wi-Fi repeater up and I'll sit right here, exact same spot. I'll hook onto it and see if I can't uh, get something. All right, so 
I went ahead and I've hooked on to my router EXT and let's uh, see if we can hook back onto the uh, speed test and get a better reception here. So this is on the Wi-Fi extender. I really hope it works. <laughs> Complete waste of time. I haven't tried it yet, so. Oh wow, look at that. Right up to 10. That's awesome. So 46 ping. Like I said, I'm on the EXT. I never, never usually get good upload anyways. We're way out in the country, so I've got one of those 3G antennas. 10 megabit, uh, 10 megabit download and one upload, I think it is, so. Um, yeah, I'm getting 10 download and one upload, so it's it's as if I'm right in the house. So there you have it. All right, well, you can tell from the uh, test right there, it was basically done. Let me show you. Here's the bench. And then there's the uh, bench where I had the phone. Just so we're all on the same page. You know, she's right there. Just finished up, so. So yeah, pretty impressed with that. I mean, I went from basically nothing to uh, the full 10 megabytes, so can't go wrong with that. I guess the real question is, can you piggyback these and maybe I can jam one on the outside uh, lean-to and then I can get right, right in the back lot, but a little unnecessary. You don't need you don't need Wi-Fi out, uh, out in the forest or anything like that, you know what I mean? You gotta get out there and enjoy nature, so. Anyways, with that being said, I think, uh, yeah, I think it works. It worked for me anyways. Don't know exactly everyone's uh, situation, but I would recommend it for sure. I'll drop a link down in the description on this exact model um, from Amazon. And if you, if you uh, like it, uh, or thinking about purchasing it, click the link for me. That would really support the channel. Thanks, guys.